What's up everybody, Chris V from chrisv.tv and today I'm gonna to talk about LED lighting. Today I'll be showing you how I use the F485 to replace some of my larger high wattage hot lights like 2Ks or maybe a small HMI to shoot some of my favorite setups like a book light for interviews and a sunset through a window shot. I'm going to show you one of my favorite lighting setups for interviews which is a, a book light is what it's typically called. It's basically a double diffused big light source so it makes your shadows super super soft and basically mimics like a natural light kind of feel. So first off, we've got the F485 way up over here and we're going to pop this guy on. We're shooting at 5800 Kelvin and we're at 100% on this guy. You can see right now that he's getting blasted. It's super bright. Let's dial this guy down. You can see how harsh the light is right now. It's just shooting straight through the Fresnel glass. It's flooded. And it's just the shadows on the right side of his face are, you know, super dark and contrasty, which is awesome if that's what you're going for. We're going for something totally different, very more soft and subtle. So I'm just gonna crank this back up and we're gonna throw on our soft box. Intellitex makes these really cool octo boxes that just slide in your barn doors. They've got a speed ring. And right there you can already see way softer light. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly our six by of light grid cloth and make an even larger source. Okay, you wanna fill that with the light that's coming from behind it. So then it turns into an even bigger, softer light source. So you can see right now, I mean, the shadows are way, way less intense. It's super subtle and soft. Now let's pop on a little backlight. So we've got the F165. We've got it at 20% and it's also dialed into 5800. That just gives us a little bit of back rim light kind of separating him from the background. So once again, F 485 from Intellitech, super bright and comparable to a 2K. It draws about 485 watts. It is not hot at all to the touch. You could run it for an hour or two and just grab that thing and pick it up and you're not gonna burn your hands. It's bi-color, it's got DMX controls, it's completely dimmable so you don't need to grab a squeezer. You basically just throw this thing up, plug it into any household outlet and you're ready to go. So this is a pretty common setup where we're going to mimic sort of a dusk sunsetty type scenario. So right now we've got all the lights off, but it's still dusk outside. So we've got a little bit of light coming in and we've got Aaron who is our model extraordinaire. He's going to be just at home working from a laptop, sending those nightly emails and whatnot. So first things first, we're going to go out here and we're going to fire up our 485 right through the window. We're on flood mode. We've got it dialed in to 3000 to give it that nice warm glow. So that's gonna emulate the sunlight coming in. Then what we need to do is get a little bit of fill on him. So we've got our 165 and we've got that at daylight right now. So we've got it about, I don't know, eight feet away or so just to fill him in a little bit. The cool thing about having the bicolor fixture is that we can just crank that 485 all the way down to 3000 and we don't have to gel anything so we don't lose any light intensity. So that gives us still our nice, you know, look of a sunlight, sunset coming in through the window. That's about it, pretty simple. So just to recap, we got the F485 right outside the window about two feet away, just blasting right through, giving us that sunset light coming through, nice golden light. It's at about 3000 Kelvin. It's on 100% intensity, it's fully flooded. And then we have our little F165 with the softbox at 100%, about eight feet away or so. And that's at 5800. And that's just giving us a little bit of fill from the key side, kind of giving us that 
realistic sunset, working from home, hanging out, laptop action. All right, hope you guys dig the F-485. Here's a size comparison on the F-485 LED Fresnel as opposed to a traditional tungsten 2K Fresnel. You can see that the tungsten Fresnel has a larger lens and is shorter and wider. You can see the depth, it's a little squattier. On the back, it has a spot flood control and the power cable. And then the Fresnel glass and your modifier attachments, barn doors, scrims, whatever you want to put in there. The F-485 is a smaller lens, still has the modifier attachments. You can put barn doors, scrims, whatever. This top attachment rotates. It's spring-loaded, so you kind of pull up like that. You pull up and rotate, clip it back into place. You can see that it's a longer, more narrow Fresnel, so when you put it all together, it's pretty close to the same size. The LED though, however, has the option to run it off of battery power. It's got the AC plug, just if you want to run it off of normal wall power or anything. It's got a power, and then it also has a fan switch, which will allow you to go to full 100% power, or if it's not on, it only goes to 50% power. It has two knobs. One is for color temperature, and the other is for intensity. And then this LED screen will light up when it's on and you can hit these arrows up or down and change the color temperature and the dimmer as well. It's nice having an LED touchscreen because then you can really see exactly numerically what your color temperature is and you don't need a color meter to match two lamps to the same exact color temperature. It's got a big fan on the back, but it's really actually not very loud at all. Um, and that's about it. They're pretty close to the same size. Here's all your light modifier attachments. You pull up and turn, slap it into place if you wanted barn doors or maybe a scrim or if you wanted to put gels on the barn doors. Same thing with traditional fixture. You've got your modifiers going right here. This one swings up, locks back down. Basically the same kind of thing. They both have yokes. These yokes will actually slide left and right for easy storage afterwards. You can just swing the yoke up and then you can carry it like a handle. And that's the size comparison of the F-485 LED Fresnel right next to a 2K tungsten Fresnel. If you want to know more about these lights, check out IntelliTechUSA.com. 485 LED all. Oh, this memory card's full. Oh no!